What's up you guys? Today we're back again with the Cherokee and we are going to be flushing the brake fluid. It's super dirty in there. So we're gonna go ahead and put some new brake fluid in here. We have the rear of the Cherokee on the jack and some jack stands underneath. We're gonna go ahead and remove the tires. While we're at it, we're also gonna deep clean the wheels just so that they could look good. Well, better than what they already are. Okay, so this is how it looks from the back side of the wheel. We're just using that Diablo thing from Chemical Guys. We're gonna spray the whole rim and then scrub it down. We got this at the 99 and then, then we got this at Chemical Guys. So let me give it a good scrubbing. And then uh, we'll rinse it, see how clean we could get it. This is as clean as we could get them. I mean, we could have done more, but we're already tired of scrubbing. The front is pretty clean. Now let's get to draining the brake fluid. So to pull out the old fluid, we're just going to use this old medicine syringe. And we're going to put the old fluid in this empty bottle. Just make sure that you put something underneath this because if it drips on your paint, it's going to come off. Your paint's going to come off. You can see how dirty the brake fluid is. So we're going to just go ahead and do this over and over until we get all of this out. This is the brake fluid that we pulled out from the master cylinder. You can see how dark it is. can't even see my fingers on the other side of the bottle. So now we're going to pour some new brake fluid in here. You're gonna be able to tell how clear this brake fluid is, and that's how it should be. It almost looks like water. We're gonna fill it up all the way to the top, and then we're gonna start bleeding at the rear passenger side. On the rear driver side, we already did the passenger side. We just couldn't show you because there's not a lot of room over there. So back here, all we did is we removed the the little cap, the little rubber cap, and then we broke the eight millimeter loose. This little bolt right here. Now we're putting our little hose that goes into the Gatorade bottle. This is what we removed from the passenger side. So as you can see, it's really dark. We kept bleeding it until there was clear um, fluid running through the line. So we have someone in the car pumping it about five to ten times, and then holding it. Then we break the valve loose, and then the fluid comes out. Then we close it back up and then pump it again. And we just do that over and over until we see the clear fluid. So I'm gonna have to do it with two hands because I have to hold the hose just so it won't come out and then the brake fluid goes all over the place. So I'll put you guys back on so I can show you guys what the brake fluid looks like. And keep an eye on the master just so it won't go dry. Keep topping it off. That way you won't get any air bubbles in your system. When you're done, just put the rubber back on the little nipple where you connect your hose. And this is the brake fluid. You see how dirty that is now we're gonna do the front on the front passenger side we're gonna remove this rubber cover thing Just pull it off and then slide your 10 millimeter on there not even a 10 it's a 9 it's not a 9 Let me try to get in a 3 8. So it is a 3 8. Just break it loose and then put your line on. Make sure you top off the master once again. I'm gonna connect the little hose just so we won't get the fluid on the floor. Let me go ahead and do it with two hands. Alright, so we're done with the front passenger side. It's a good time to inspect your brake pads and rotors. There's still a lot of life left in these. I think they're brand new. And we're also gonna clean some of this gunk. Probably hit it with like a little wire brush or something. Just where we see like a lot of buildup. We're gonna take it back to the car wash and rinse it, you know. But there's a lot of this on there, so we're just gonna hit this real quick. We're gonna go ahead and finish the driver's side and then I'll show you what we take out of the driver's side. We already dumped the passenger side. Just forgot to show you guys, but it was pretty dark as well. All right, so this is a shorter line, so it was a lot quicker. And this is what we got out of the brake lines. 
it's not as dirty as the other three wheels but it is pretty dirty so now make sure that you're topped off your master if it's low just top it off this one just needs a little bit, this one just needs a little bit more done with the brake flush uh, these are three eighths the ones in the rear are eight millimeter uh, bleeding screws we just noticed that these tie rod boots are ripped so they're gonna have to be replaced this is the brake fluid that we used we basically went through the whole bottle and we're topped off so we're done with this That'll be it for this video. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Yonke underscore OXE Films. I'll leave that in the description down below. And we'll catch you in the next one.